Ready, you can start, okay? Make sure you can start. <coughs> He's saying if you can if you're ready, you can start. Do the bios later. Closer to the mic. Say something. Quickly check it. Check it. Yeah, it's good.
now I will present Sri Anumacharya Kirtana Sadanandamu Sarveshwara in Ragam Karahara Priya, set to Adhikam.
I'm a bad guy, I'm a bad guy. 
When you think about a concert, it kind of really reminds me of the time when, with a conversation that I had with my grandmother many years ago, when I just started learning how to cook. And I'm sure some of you have had those, you know, those connections with your grandparents or elders at home. I asked her, you've been cooking for so many years and you know, you make everything look so easy. What is the toughest thing you make? And without blinking, without thinking, she said, my sofa. And I was extremely surprised that she said Mysore Park because Mysore Park literally is four ingredients. And it's really not that complex like where you have to have a notebook and write it down. So I was really surprised to hear Mysore Park and I said, why do you say it is Mysore Park? And she said, look, the pakwam of what you have to make in there for it to be perfect is extremely hard because it has to have the balance in everything. The karalamau or basin or you know, uh, that flour, the ground flour has to be roasted exactly at that level. Any more, it will taste burnt. The sugar syrup has to be made exactly to the consistency. Any less or more won't form into the shape you want. And then there is the ghee which has to be fresh, otherwise there is, it's going to taste like cardboard to you. And she like literally explained it for 35 minutes why every single ingredient had to be of perfection to make that my sofa. And I just thought, oh my God, she's done. And then she added, she said, then there is more things like external factors. Did you know humidity plays a part when it actually cools down for the bubbles to come or not? So even the humidity and temperature make a difference. Such is the thought process that is required to create a kacheri that has the blend of everything and can sound perfect. A big round of applause to the guru who created today's concert. <laughs> Starting with a varnam, which is in Tamil, going to a composition which is St. Tyagarajas in Rupakatala, which is in Telugu, then showcasing the Annamaya Kriti in Aditala, which was the main piece in Kadaharapuriya, and then finishing it with a Ragamalika and having so many emotions and bhavas and rhythm patterns and talans and contrasting ragams embedded into one concert of 45 minutes is a craft. And your guru, Vidushi Srimati Sudha Dusi, absolutely blessed you with that. So a big round of thank you applause for our guru for making that concert so complete in itself. Of course, then there is those external factors, the humidity and temperature which is what you bring into this equation. You practiced. You made sure that you could control the concert when you're performing on a stage. You practiced and you made sure that what you perform is what exactly your guru asked you to render. And all that is not easy. So big round of applause for Aditi for the concert that she produced today. Aditi, the bhava, the melodiousness with which you rendered every composition was absolutely beautiful to listen to. And we hope and pray that you continue to learn the craft of music under your guru for a very long time to come. And you come back and sing for us again very soon. Thank you so much for all the effort. And thank you so much for doing you know, the sadhana it needs to justify every composition that you learn. And I really hope that you continue to do that sadhana every day, no matter what. Thank you so much. Again, it is one thing, it's, it's really important for the main artist to be there, but the supporting artists were often called pakkavadyam. Actually, pakkavadyam means sight instruments. Actually, the, the, the word pakkavadyam is in Tamil, which is sight instruments. But the word pakka in Hindi means strong. A lot of times your pakka vadyam has to be pakka vadyam, which is strong support for a concert to be as melodious and perfect as it was today. So big round of applause for Deeksha and Dalit. <laughs> the maturity you, brought, you both brought to stage and the maturity with which you handled the composition, each one of them, to the merit of what that composition is, whether it be the raga or whether it be the laya aspect of it, absolutely embellished the concert in every possible way. Thank you so much, Deeksha. 
Thank you so much, Lalit, for performing today, and we really hope that you both come back and play many, 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 many more concerts at Lotus. Thank you so much. A big round of applause to all the children. The concert was also live streamed at Lotus website, so please go like, share. Nobody needs to teach social media in this group, the Bay Area. Please take advantage of it. It is on Facebook, it is on YouTube. We cannot make it more available than it is. Please share, please like, please share it with your friends and family for how outstanding your kids have been. And please go and join the Lotus YouTube channel and Facebook, Facebook page as well. Thank you so much. With that, we would like to request the artist for the second concert to come on stage. Take the stage, please. Something different. <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. 
One of the joys of Lotus is to see, or has been, to see <coughs> artists grow and bloom. I think for Shubhapriya Ma, Radha Ma, Nanda Na, every time when we, you know, for years, for 22 years, when we think about why we do this, it's always about saying, okay, maybe we should do this, and then we say, okay, this is a lot of effort. Or we, you know, there's competing priorities in life always. But then it goes back to saying, when you hear somebody, an artist, a child who's grown and shown passion, and when a child grows in passion and puts their hard work, your heart melts to say, oh my God, we got to do what we do for their sake. It's only like a couple of years ago, if I recall, when Ratika was sitting in the front row on the lap of her parents with a crayon box and coloring outside the line of a paper <laughs> while listening to a kacheri. It was possibly at that point when Urmika and Ladit would have been reading a book and sitting on it. It is just only a couple of years that I know positively that Ratika came and sang her first song in Tyagaraj Aradhana at Lotus. To see a child grow from sitting in the front row to performing a first song, to performing a concert for 45 minutes is a journey that we Lotus are supremely grateful for. And it's a journey to be super proud of for as an artist who's grown from that to a pedestal where you come and perform a full length 45 minutes concert. Please give a big round of applause to the <laughs> I think many times we've contemplated this, that what does a slot in Lotus mean? And we are inundated and grateful to the various gurus who always said it's like a stepping it's like a stepping stone for the children to get you know used to uh, singing in a platform. It's an incentive for them to grow from a song to a concert. And today was a demonstration of that. When we think about what to call that slot, and we've said junior slot, intermediate slot, and senior slot, which are the three slots in Lotus. I think the word junior is kind of in a way misleading. When we think about junior, we are expecting junior, but the junior can be a junior in age, but the music is extremely accomplished. To come and perform a varnam, which has chatushram and tishram, then to perform a composition with all purutak swaram and kanakta, and then to present the perisami tour and composition in saveri, a raga which is as vast as it can be as a main piece is by no means a junior in Vidvat slot. So please give a big round of applause to Ratika <laughs> and her gurus who have enabled her to, to come here and perform at that level, at that composure, so that when you close your eyes and listen to it, you definitely cannot imagine somebody of that age and stage you're seeing sitting on the stage and performing. So Ratika, we wish you all the best. We know for a fact that you are going to pursue and come back and sing many more concerts and play many more concerts for Lotus. Thank you so much for what you performed today and we are eagerly looking forward to hearing more and more of you. Thank you so much Ratika. There are some children you can always count on. <laughs> there are some children you can always call and say, hey, I need help. Hey, there is a slot here. We are waiting for another person to come. Can you do? And it takes a lot of commitment to be that child who's always willing to help. To be that child who's grown up to become that adult and human being who's always willing to help. And Urmika, has been that help for Lotus for us. A big round of applause to Urmika. Urmika, we are so proud of your journey as a musician. We are so proud of the journey you made as a child growing up here. We have had 
the privilege to see, and we really wish you the best in all your endeavors. A big round of applause for you. Practicing one instrument, one art form takes commitment. Practicing rhythm, vocal, violin takes commitment exponentially. A big round of, of applause for Malin. Malin, we pray to Prasanna Ganapati that he blesses you with the best for in all the endeavors you pursue musically and beyond. And we, and we eagerly look forward for you to come back and perform more and more and more. Thank you so much. Please, again, this concert will be posted on the Lotus YouTube channel and Facebook and Lotus page. Please like, share, please promote your own children's amazing performances. And stay tuned on svlotus.com for more concerts. Have a fantastic evening and Namaskar.